Today I'm at the 580 Super L. I've uh, done some work on this one in the past. I'll probably have a video posted of doing some work on this one. I I did uh, replaced uh, leaking and steering hose, and um, I also did a engine service on this thing. And I talked about this one in the the dozer video. If you guys have seen that one, the case. 850b dozer which is actually sitting over there and uh, it's still running great for him he says it has more power than it's had since he's had it it's running great uh, it needs a transmission service um, I tried to talk the customer into doing a transmission service on that dozer um, he declined at the time and then on that video I was talking to you guys about how when I did the engine service on this one I checked the transmission fluid and it was in really bad condition and so I told him you really need it's really critical that you change the fluid on it and he said he didn't want to do it at this time and uh, <clears throat> so this machine he called me is having transmission issues um, so He's getting um, some issues from what he's explaining is there's some serious lag in the shifting. Um, there's some serious noticeable power decrease, um, driving and pushing. And uh, the customer went and got the oil and filter because I told him I was out on another job that I just, it would save a bunch of time. Um, if he could go do that, so he did go get it for me, so that's helpful. So I'm gonna start draining the oil, and um, and then we'll take a look at the oil and see what we see. Um, and I'll I'll show you guys where the transmission filter is, and and we'll sh we'll look at the oil and while we're here and go through all that. But um, I'm gonna get some tools out. So, all right, guys. So hopefully you can see there. There's not a whole lot of places to set up the camera. So this is a Carrero um, transmission. This is a clean. This is a clean bucket, so see that rusty, horrible color of that transmission fluid this wind is making things really difficult we got quite a bit of material on the magnet we got some big big chunks I'm gonna crawl out of here real quick and and take a look at some of this metal here but uh, ultimately, I don't know if you guys can see right to the right of this drain plug, there's these two bolts here. I believe that's going to be our suction screen there. And uh, that's the one I'm really going to want to take out and uh, take a look at.
Yeah, it's not looking good already. and lots of metal on that screen. So not looking good guys. Alright guys, so we got this magnet here and you see this, all this debris in this suction screen. See that? That's all large, large pieces of metal. that There's a lot of metal in the system here Now you're always going to have a little bit of wear material. So if you guys do do this, take the screen out. Don't freak out if there's a little bit in there. Like, you know, when you get a little bit of small fines and stuff on your screen. But this this amount is pretty catastrophic really I mean it still moves so I shouldn't say catastrophic the machine still moves but it's it's not happy just wanted to show you guys something real quick before I uh, pull the filter off and uh, while I was cleaning this out, I've just been shoving this magnet around in here and just pulling chunks after chunks and it just won't quit. Um, you, you wouldn't believe how much I've already. And it just keeps on coming. Just keeps on coming. Might be getting to the end of it finally, but
Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. So I used my air compressor and uh, brake clean and and I got the screen all nice and cleaned out and and uh, nice and cleaned. But um, <clears throat> just real quick, I wanted to point out to you guys that um, I've seen this happen into the past. So I wanted to uh, tell you guys if you're working on customers equipment or your it's your machine itself just so you guys don't get uh burnt or not not burnt but what i'm trying to say is um at sometimes i've i've done a lot of these transmissions before and i have quite a bit of experience with this transmissions and what might happen when i replace the filter there and i clean out the suction screen the cuss and then we put new fluid in the cusser might because he was running it today and he was having some serious issues with the transmission he actually might see some improvement after we do all this you see what i'm saying um i'm not saying that's 100 percent gonna happen but he might see some improvement and when i tell him his transmission is no good he, he's gonna be like you're trying to pull a fast one on me because it seems like it's doing a whole lot better now um but that's where you have to be careful and tell him and ex I need to explain to him is that a transmission doesn't lose that much material. What I showed you guys over there is a tenth. I mean, we're talking, there's piles of clutch and material and metal inside those. And these transmissions don't heal themselves. It's just going to get worse. So you just need to make sure that you, um, you realize that and it, the customer realizes that is what I'm trying to say is that um, even though sometimes you'll actually see an improvement um, I've, I've there's been cases where I've pulled the suction screen out and the plug and changed the fluid in the filter and there's there's small amounts of clutch material fine stuff right guys and uh, you know that in that those cases you can sometimes get along a lot of times you get a long service life out of them but when you're pulling balls of of material heavy material out of there i'm telling you guys it's it's gonna be it's gonna lead to failure it's just a matter of time so anyways um i promise you i'm gonna get this um put back together and we'll get to the filter and we'll put fluid in it and then we'll see how it does on the side of the machine here and you can see there's this like i was telling you about there's this rubber divider here in the engine and then um, so that rusty nasty color of that fluid try to get that nasty stuff out of there Every last drop we can.
sorry not to bump you guys, but kind of right on my way. I'll put the date on there, but my paint pen is dried out on me in this dang heat, even with the cap on. Um, but I'll mark it down on. I'll mark it down on the my report, the date and the hours. Um. Anyways, all right. So next step is going to be to fill it back up with fluid, and then. Yeah, and we'll give it a shot. So it's getting, uh, obviously you guys can see it's getting dark on me real quick. It's, uh, I didn't get out here till like 7.30. And it's, uh, it's getting dark on me, so we're not gonna be able to see much. So I went real quick and uh, to save time and there's nothing uh, complicated or fancy about it. I filled it with uh, transmission oil and I don't quote me on it, but this one with four-wheel drive and uh, <clears throat> filter change takes roughly like 19 and a half quarts, something like that. Uh, but I uh, got it up there to the refill capacity and then I'm gonna run it back and forth a little bit through the gears and then we'll recheck it. Once it warms up and everything goes through. So I shift it into gear, I could hear it. The wheels are Spin in, Let's try reverse. So there's neutral, reverse. Yeah, I can hear it shift. Forward. You can hear it shift and going into gear. Hear it? Uh, 
want to make sure Take it for a spin, see what happens. into gear. I wish I had a bit of a hill. I don't want to climb up this berm because I don't even know if, I'm not positive that that's his property or. So like I said guys, um, we're now getting uh, instant response when we shift it, you know what I mean? Where before he wasn't, so like I said before, I knew that was gonna make a difference.
here in second. No problem in first. Well guys, it's getting uh, completely dark. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit recording. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can uh, do tonight. I'm just gonna to check the fluid one more time and make sure the fluid level's good after running it, warming it up. And then, um, like I said, it is what it is. At least it's mobile. So it, it's movable, but um, it's definitely not fixed. So um, it, it goes into gear real nice and uh, quick engages and forward and reverse but obviously this thing's not fixed so um but it is mobile and it is what it is so we will uh see what the customer wants and i'll tr I'll, I'll try to keep you guys updated um in the future as soon as i know and we may end up pulling this out and do a transmission on it so uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video now and uh, recheck fluid and park this thing and get the heck out of here because I got a big day tomorrow. So uh, thanks for watching guys as always and uh, if you like the videos please hit the like button and subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.